Welcome to Ties. Today in this episode of Shipranya Shakti, I have with me Mrs. Vasudha Srivastav Narola. She is a lady with two startup ventures and is managing her family, her personal life all at once. So let's get into this conversation and know more about her and her ventures. I would like to introduce her as a serial entrepreneur and I would like her to tell about her ventures because she is doing some great work. So welcome Ms Vasudha pleasure is on my uh hi i am vasudha shrivastav nagra founder and uh, ceo of mfly services which is an ai based field automation company so this is my second venture which i have just explained my first venture is expressers travels and uh, it started up in 2015 it's a mice company can you highlight like what really motivated you to get into entrepreneurship uh well i can't say uh you know uh, there isn't one specific reason uh, it's just like uh, from the childhood i wanted to do something different i mean i don't know uh, that time i was not clear about it like what i have to do i keep on inventing i was a very studious kind of employee i keep on learning new things i i i know that i have to learn so many things and uh, i wherever i joined as an employee my target was to you know learn as much i as i can uh, that was the motto at that time In 2014, when there was a big pause uh, that happened because a uh, lot of automation has already done in that current, I mean, uh, during that time uh, where I was working, uh, there was a lot of idle time for me to sit back and see uh, where should I take my, you know, myself, uh, you know, after this, whether I'm going to switch a job because uh, I have a lot of time, or should I, you know, uh, dream? Should I, you know, venture into a something that I'm dreaming of? And travel was something was very. you know connected to me they i used to travel a lot so that time when uh, i used to travel there some points that i uh, you know agar aisa hota to shayad aur better hota aisa hota to aisa hota to ye keep on coming to my mind and then then and there i think that i decided i went to the go daddy site uh, i searched for some random name and uh, this word express us just pop ups i don't know from where i searched it i booked it for 10 years and that's how this journey started So you have two ventures, Amplify and Expressor. Can you brief me a little bit more about each one of them? Uh, well, uh, Expressor is a mice company. Uh, I'll uh, you know explain what is mice. Mice means a uh, meeting incentive to corporate events and exhibitions. Mm-hmm. A company who do all these is called a mice company. Uh, so we have uh, been into this business for the last eight years. Now in twenty third November we are going to. Uh, that will be our ninth anniversary, and uh, this company has, uh, you know, uh, tried to uh, make a little difference in the mice operation. How actually the mice work? We have worked, you know, you must have also seen so many of the mice company which is already there. Uh, the biggest one is of course Make My Trip. Then there is also a mice vertical of this Akbar Travels, Riya Travels. We have also seen. I mean, there are a hell lot of companies in the right. market like. uh so what we are trying to do is we uh, we trying to give that personalized touch to every corporate event uh why you are doing this even that is important for us to learn before we you know organize any such event for the corporates and that makes us different uh, you know in front of the uh, the corporates uh, and uh, to the clients that we are uh, you know dealing in and um, that's the reasons uh, we have a repeated clients every every year So you talked about both of your ventures, but I would like to know one thing. You mentioned that your company is going to almost touch a decade now. So when you started ten years back, nine years back, I must say. So how were things back then, and how did you see this journey at yeah. that time? Because now you are uh, pretty much successful, but at that time, how you envisioned it? Well, uh, so I am also a first-time entrepreneur in my family. uh so uh coming from the background where everybody is in uh, either in the government services i mean my uh, father uncle everybody was in a government services uh, versus i am working in a private sector that was the first pressure that i received yeah. when i just uh, came out of my college the second pressure when i said that i want to do in a startup right. uh they were they, they were clueless the startup word was not that common at that time and i was not sure that you know that's called a startup i said i, I need to open up a company that's what we people used to say in that uh, you know in 2014 or 13 so i have to start up my uh, you know company so the startup uh, literally came into picture when uh, our honorable prime minister when he reiterated in front of the whole okay. nation that 
this is what is i mean you have to believe in yourself let's do it create the jobs uh, i think uh, that was a perfect time for me to you know get into that uh, you know earlier when if i am talking about 2000 uh, at that time 2014 the support system was not that good sure. okay uh, india was emerging at the time india was reinventing a uh, lot of policies lot of uh, uh, you know uh, support system websites these all uh, corporate uh, gurus are there they were all re- i mean us were already there but in india it was the first time that so many com- people are coming out and starting up their venture so uh, the support system was not that good in fact we are not reachable to that today if i see even as you know up college pass out they want to start up a venture there are a lot of lot a lot of lot of com- companies are there in fact there are consultants who are ready to you know uh, give a free consultation to these people moreover every college you know every university have a you know early used to have a placement cell now they have a entrepreneurship cell sure. okay so uh, you get to know about this culture its ecosystem by you are in the college itself right so i i think uh, that's make a lot of difference so you talked about you know your personal background your family is hardcore government uh, like people government employees i would say and then you opted for a private job and entrepreneurship so i am sure you must have faced a lot of challenges so can you highlight a little bit more about your personal challenges as well as how did you overcome them because i have a lot of female uh, you know entrepreneurs as my audience who are just started if i talk about uh, uh, a female journey as an entrepreneur itself looks like an impossible right uh, i mean back in that time it was more impossible sure. uh, because uh, how are you going to do it you would be requiring a male counterpart are you going to travel a lot there were a lot of questions that pop up to you uh, how are you going to survive okay what is your backup plan uh, so all these uh, it was not only the you know relatives or the family or the friends who going to ask you this question you also ask yourself true okay if i am if i if i fail what will happen will my parents will allow me to go to the office again or will they ask me to go and get married I was not married at that time, so <laughs> that was also a pressure. So it was like you know I have to excel into this business anyhow at any cost. I have to you know, and that time also I didn't ask anybody uh, to give me money. So uh, it was like a bootstrap company. Even my first company is still a bootstrap. So um, it was like I have to invest my own money. I I remember the um, the minute I thought of creating a company. um i need to open up a current account and for that you need a minimum uh, right. uh, you know some balance like 50000 and something like that i borrowed it from my brother uh, i need to buy a laptop because i was about to leave the company i i don't have my own personal asset at the time because i was using my company uh, laptop right. so i i i asked my sister if if we can bo- I, if i can borrow some money from you and buy a laptop so that was the condition Uh, right. and then when the uh, you know my pf was settled so the uh, the bond, the com- amount that i received from the company i put it everything in the startup i have to pass it okay otherwise uh, it will i will fail miserably not only in the front of the the community you know i was part of that time but also in front of me i'm mean, like uh, why the hell i did that you mentioned about you know pm modi and startup india how government policies and such programs like startup india has helped in your journey well um i am very active in social media i keep on uh, browsing like what is all being there for as a was as a woman and also uh, what all the schemes are there uh, for us i explored almost everything which i mean part of the startup india group so first thing that i did when um, this uh, government uh, launched dpiit registration right so i did that for both the company because uh, you have to be in community that is very important sure. you have to be in that community so that you know what is happening Uh, I touch base with this community people. Uh, thanks to uh, Tai, uh, thanks to NASCOM, they were the first uh, uh, organizations where I touch base because uh, they. Uh, I, I mean, if I, any person would like to connect to METI or uh, to any government body like Startup India, it will take a lot of time and energy. But if you are part of the close knitted ecosystem or organization like Tai or or NASCOM, I would say. it is easy for you to access to these people uh, that helped me as well uh, i connected to the right person at the right time uh, that helped me to uh, craft my journey as an entrepreneur also uh, make changes and necessary changes like for example uh, you know some tax benefit that i used to take uh, like you know or also like uh, if any ip or uh, trademark registration that i have to do 
you know in, in fact the lawyers they help me to identify which is the best lawyer for you know ca and all that uh, so i think these organizations and government do really help us in your first question you talked about both of your ventures and how they are solving the real world problems but if i see your work model uh, it includes a lot of data mm-hmm. how do you ensure data security and how important ethics and policies are for you well uh, so uh, i'll tell you my background so i worked in uh, it security uh, before okay. starting up my venture i worked as a bcm a business quality manager i know what data is and how important is data so i make sure that whenever uh, we are dealing with the data because data is uh, important to everybody and uh, any leakage or any uh, you know uh any mishap in, if, if you're doing with mishapping or playing with around the data you will right. be in a, a you know a, a big trouble so uh from the day one whatever i had learned uh, you know as an uh, as a person you know while working for some organization i used to implement in day one since day one so it is not like I, i mean it was a one man run company at that time but i make sure that my policies my procedures my data privacy everything should be accurate So how AI is impacting my industry and how you personally are leveraging AI in both of your ventures Uh well uh, in expressive we have not used as much I mean it is not required as uh as a mice uh, do, during the covid time we do have used it uh because everything was happening in the virtual right. events and all right. that but uh generally in mice you don't uh, need as of now maybe in the future mm-hmm. we would be but mfly is ai based uh, field operation so uh, what it happens like you know we have lot of uh, you know a uh, lot of our modules and uh, uh this features are based on ai so like for example we have a face recognition technology uh which identify the persons like employees or anybody visitors all these you know the inbuilt modules that we have uh, so ai is used in there then we have a gen ai where in app communication identifying like what is happening in an i mean if you want to uh, have a chatbots that auto populates with the existing information so there we are using based on the use cases uh, based on the custom development that somebody asks it we use users so i think that's the new norm that uh, ai should be part of the system right. and now they have also evolved in the gen ai should be there Then tomorrow some, something else will come but yes you need to be you know uh, implementing those things for making uh, your product smooth and uh, uh, future driven you are also a member of thai startup club so how has been the experience and how it has helped in your personal uh, journey i think thai is one of the best organization i have you know discovered in my life and it's because of the 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 motto of mm-hmm. this uh, organization and the people who are associated with it okay uh, being a founder member uh, it actually helped me to connect mm-hmm. you know it's all about your net- networking skill your connection right. to the right people that pr- platform that privilege has been given to you as a founder member and i think if you are uh, really a serious entrepreneur you should be associated with any such organization who gives so much of focus to the startup okay and there you can meet the big ogs who is there who are ready to help but the only problem is that you you're not able to reach them so through tai i'm able to reach them and that's the best way to connect uh, to your mentors they can be your sponsor they can be your uh, customers so you are uh, you know running two tech driven companies you are a female entrepreneur you are running a family and you are running two businesses successfully so what is your mantra to manage all these things together uh well i i uh, when i am in office i am a, uh, i'm a totally uh, a, an office person you can you can see me when i am home i am a home home person uh, i don't know i that switch i don't know how it happens but it it happens and it will happens to most of the women i must say we have been groomed in such a way that we manage everything mm-hmm. uh, when we are start from the childhood you know you you have to manage relatives who are coming down you have to manage um, you know the family uh, you you somehow uh, that's an intrinsic uh, i would say uh, nature of a woman so i think that's an obvious uh, thing that happens to me uh, i never learned anything that i should not be doing it uh, you know but i don't know it's it's a natural thing that happens and uh, i think work life balance is required i uh, generally take uh, at least in 3 months i generally take a leave uh from mm-hmm. office and take my family some outing meet in india outside india any, any place uh, we go out have fun 
uh, two or three days relax, no phone calls, nothing, and then we come back and then you know the regular work starts. So coming to my last question, what are the three top key learnings and a message for the female entrepreneurs out there? Uh, well, uh, the three learning is first is of course the perseverance. Uh, that is uh, a mantra for anybody who wants to start uh, a venture. Uh, second is hard working. There is no shortcut to hard working. Okay, people would say anything, but yeah, hard working. You need to be on your toes. And third is of course the work life balance. People lose their mental uh, ability to judge or take decision rightly uh, through their uh, entrepreneurship because it's a roller coaster ride, you know. Uh, so I guess if you have these three qualities or you 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 know build. Uh, your personality around it that will be easy for you to live a life happily and for women who wants to take a plunge uh, in a startup i think you should never consider a startup as your second business i i told uh, a lot of women that i you know I, let me start as a part time startup can never be a part time it's a full time role that you have to play if you're not ready today don't do it otherwise uh, what will happen if you're doing anything half heartedly you will definitely going to fail right okay so do it put every energy everything that you have and if it's not successful it's a learning for you thank you so much basuda for this extremely insightful conversation thank you